the No Fate channel checking in. I have my muscle players uniform on and I am ready to go on today's episode of Sunday Supplement Review. In fact, the doctor is in as I review Dr. Jim Stepani's protein powder blend. So Jim Stepani uh, is a very big name in the fitness community. He sells Jim Supplement Science on bodybuilding.com, gnc.com, amazon.com, and everywhere else.com. Today I have their Tahitian vanilla bean. It comes in four flavors. So this is a blended protein. So it's supposed to give you an even balanced digestion window of uh, protein. Uh, let's dive right in. One packet is 36 grams. 140 calories, four, ca uh, four carbohydrates, 2.5 fat, and 24 grams of protein. So your basic protein scoop that's very average or typical with what you would expect. Um, in terms of ingredients, in terms of the protein, we have whey protein isolate, Michelin casein protein, and then we have milk protein isolate and egg protein. Now, I'll be honest with you, when I see protein blends, I like to see an isolate with a casein. Again, you get that fast digestion with the isolate and then that slow release digestion of protein with the casein. I don't know why they threw in milk protein isolate or egg white protein isolate, or excuse me, egg white protein. Not to say that those aren't good proteins. I mean, obviously I love egg protein, but if I wanted egg protein, I'd either drink egg whites or make myself some eggs. And I really don't know why you'd put in milk protein isolate as opposed to just more whey protein isolate. With that said, how much does it cost per serving? I looked online, I found the best deal I could at the time of this video, and that is $1 per serving. And for 24 grams of protein, that comes down to 4.1 cents. 4.1 cents per gram of protein. And that's a good way to compare apples to apples when you're trying to compare protein powders. And I will say 4.1 cents is high. It is it's pretty high, okay? Usually we like to see on averages like three to 3.5 cents per protein for a very good quality protein powder. Even one that's a blend such as this. I'll try to throw up a list of comparison charts so you can get an idea of uh, how the 4.1 cents compares to other proteins. Let's just see how it tastes, okay? Because that's really what we care about. I just finished a gym workout. I am super hungry, thirsty, and sweaty, as you can probably see. I am mixing off camera here. I am mixing one packet with eight and a half to nine ounces of water, and it is ice cold water. Now, I did forget my cup, so I can't tell you how it pours, but I can certainly tell you how it tastes. All right, great, great shake here. Here we go, taste test. That is a good creamy vanilla, and it does have a little bit of vanilla bean. Oftentimes we think of vanilla, we think of very bland flavors. Um, the Tahitian vanilla bean, probably better than your basic vanilla. I'm not gonna lie, that is a good taste. I'm not a big fan of uh, Jim's supplement science with some of the rhetoric that, that he does sell, but I do independent reviews, I do honest reviews, and the taste is good. Tahitian vanilla bean, very good flavor, as I mentioned. Um, it comes in four flavors. Now, if you find this on a great sale to bring that price per serving down below a dollar, it might be worth it to you. Honestly, I don't know why they are throwing in milk protein isolate or egg white protein. If you know, drop it in the comments below. Maybe I'm missing something. I'd rather just see them throw in more whey protein isolate and more uh, casein protein um, in terms of a protein blend. But if it's something you're interested in, hey, go out, grab it, try to find it below a dollar per serving, because again, at a dollar per serving, it is pretty high. If you came this far in the video, you know what to do. Give it a like, hit that subscribe button. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. I am dedicated to helping you dads be great parents to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I post tips and tricks to save you dads time, energy, and money three things that are in short supply for every dad out there.